हेलो वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल फिजिक्स एज आई अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एबरेशंस इन लेंसेस एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एबरेशन व्हाट आर एबरेशंस एबरेशंस मींस द डिविएशंस फ्रॉम द एक्चुअल साइज शेप एंड पोजीशन ऑफ एन इमेज एज कैलकुलेटेड बाय ऑप्टिकल लेंस इक्वेशंस आर नोन एज एबरेशंस प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ए लेंस let us understand this definition part by part here optical lens equations optical lens equations are nothing but the equations which we use to calculate image distance focal length etc one of those equations is 1 by v minus 1 by u is equals 1 by f another one is 1 by f equals to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 these equations are known as optical lens equations these equations are approximated for thin lenses that means these equations are strictly valid for only thin lenses next one deviations from the actual size shape and position of an image calculated by these equations that means there would be some changes in the size shape or position of the image let us see how a convex lens forms an image of an object situated at infinity and another object situated at a finite distance from the lens the first one when the object is placed at infinity or at infinite distance from the lens and suppose the object is white in color then the radiation coming from the object will also be white in color and since the object is at infinity the radiation or light rays coming from the object will be parallel to the optical axis or optic axis let us see this animation see a parallel beam of white light coming from the object is incident on the convex lens then the object distance is equals to infinity okay now these rays after falling upon the convex lens converge to a point on the optic axis this point is known as focus and the image is formed at this point so whatever may be the size of the object the image is always a point image this image is at a distance of v from the optic center and this is equals to focal length of the lens therefore v is equals to f this can be calculated mathematically by the equation 1 by v minus 1 by u is equals to 1 by f since u is equals to infinity and 1 by infinity is 0 1 by v should be equals to 1 by f therefore v must be equals to f which is obtained here now let us see the second case when the object is at a finite distance and again the object is white in color when the light rays starting from this object falls on the convex lens they form an image at this position and the image is inverted in nature remember the ray parallel to the optic axis always gets converged to focus on the optic axis and the ray which is traveling through the optic center never deviates in its direction so it goes directly here the object distance is u and the image distance is v again the image distance can be calculated given the object distance from the equation 1 by v minus 1 by u is equals to 1 by f here f is the focal length of the lens convex lens in both these cases the convex lens forms an image which is same in color as the object that is white in color and the image distance or the size of the image or shape of the image are exactly in coincidence with those obtained from the optical lens equations this is the ideal case however the size or shape or this position of this image may be different from those calculated from the equations such deviations are known as aberrations produced by the lens now let us see how many types of aberrations are there aberrations are mainly classified into two types first one chromatic aberrations second category monochromatic aberrations chromatic aberrations are caused by the light which consists of more than one wavelength and monochromatic aberrations are purely caused by the lens systems or optical systems further the monochromatic aberrations are classified into five types 
first one is spherical aberration it is the inability of the lens to form an op a point image of a point object placed on the optic axis second one is chromatic aberration or coma this is the defect or aberration produced when the object is slightly off the axis either above the axis or below the axis the image looks like a comet that's why the name chromatic aberration or coma simply the third category is astigmatism this is the defect caused by the lens systems when the object is far away from the optical axis or optic axis in this case the image consists of two mutually perpendicular lines separated by finite distance the next one is distortion in this case the shape of the image is distorted that's why the name distortion is given and the last category is curvature this is the aberration in which the image is a curve shaped image so these five types of aberrations are known as monochromatic aberrations which are caused purely by the lens systems so in this video we have learned what are aberrations and what are the different types of aberrations thank you for watching